Hey guys, this is MinecraftMan276. Today I'm not going to be doing a Minecraft um, video. Today I'm going to be showing you a cool app that you can download. Um, I found this really cool. You can see constellations and stuff like that, and I enjoy looking at astronomy type of things. So this is pretty cool. So depending on which computer you have, um, Windows or Mac, I have a Mac, so I would click on that for download. So it will say like your Stellarium download will start in so many seconds. So once that happens, it will start downloading. Now I'm going to stop the download. I already downloaded it. But basically, um, once you have that, you drag it onto here, um, like onto here. Once it's done downloading, it'll ask you um, like to put it in your applications, and this is for the Mac. Um, then you would. Also, I would suggest dragging it here so you can click on it. I figured it out myself, so if my, I'm a little bit wrong, you guys should be able to figure it out. And once you click on it, um, this will come up. So just click open, and we can get started. It, it takes a second for it to go up. Okay, so, so right now this is in Paris, France. I do not live in Paris, France, but it doesn't exactly save it so and I just don't feel like taking the time to get my exact latitude longitude to put in my air um, the place where I am and stuff like that I just don't feel like doing that so here let's just pretend I'm in Paris right now <laughs> okay so there's a bunch of these cool things so say if it was daytime you could take off the atmosphere and I would just totally make it like that at tonight um, there's also, um, cardinal points, I do not know what that does, or the ground, I haven't tested that. Planets, you click on that, and basically when it's, like, lit up, that means you have it on. So planets are automatically on, so you can see. This is, like, nebulas and stuff like that. Um, then you can also put on the art for constellations. You put on the, the labels for them, and then you can also put on the lines. Um... So right now I'm not going to do the art, just, I'm going to just do the lines for now. Um, just so you can kind of see that they're there. Um, so let's see, where should we start? Um, so there's basically a lot of stuff, you'd have to explore this, you can speed it up. Um, so basically, if you want to go, with, go into night and it's a day, you basically just click atmosphere. Um, or you could try to speed it up and spend hours just waiting, because even when you speed it up, it still takes a while, so. And then, as you can see, there's, like, shortcuts, like, it says Atmosphere A. I'm just pressing A right here, right now. And, like, um, like, Constellation R, R, press R, press R again, so. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of planets I found, seeing planets the coolest. Um, I'm going to turn... Um, off the atmosphere because it usually makes it a lot easier to see. So once you have a planet clicked on, you want to go here and center it. Then you could just zoom in by scrolling onto your mouse. Sometimes you'll zoom in too far, which is okay. Just zoom out, as you can see, which is happening to me. And so that's basically what Venus looks like at the current time. So, I found this pretty cool, um, I'm going to zoom out, show you a couple more things, whoa, a couple more things, whoa, look at that. Here, I'm going to center that and look at it. It's not the star, it's what's around the star. See right there, this whole, it's the Rossetti Nebula. Okay. So I saw that, I was zoomed in a little bit, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so there's a lot of things, there's like Saturn here. Um, so you could center that, um, or, some, or something like that, zoom in on it. Ah, too much, too much, too much, way too much. And you can even see the rings I found pretty cool. Um, and it's like, I think, supposed to be an image of it. 
Okay, so if you zoom out, I also saw that Mars was out. So this is tonight in Paris. Well, actually, right now in Paris. Except without the atmosphere. Here's, that's right now in Paris. Or at least that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. So, if you, when you see this video, don't expect Mars, even if you live in Paris, don't expect Mars to be out right now. Because, um... I, because you may not be seeing this the day I'm making this, so. Sorry about all the noise in the background. I'm sure you can hear it if you can't. Well. So, cool thing, um, if you, if you uncenter on the object, if you, get off, if you, yeah, maybe, uh, if you unclick on it, Usually it starts moving, huh? I'm going to try something else, cause... Okay, so maybe something that moves faster, um... Try Saturn, I'll try Saturn, see if that starts moving. So you basically unclick it, and it should start moving. I usually zoom in way, zoom in way too much on it, so... Yeah. Wow, that noise is really annoying in the background. See? It moves. <laughs> so, yeah. And it kind of just leaves. Even from here, you can see it moving. So that's also pretty cool. Mars, I don't know why it wasn't moving. I guess it doesn't move as fast or something. Uh, let's see. Was there anything else here? Any other planets? I saw that the sun was just barely on the, on the edge here. I'm going to turn on the atmosphere for a second. Uh, where's the atmosphere? So, uh, I can't even tell where the sun is. I know how to get the sun, like, really far up, though. So, so um, you just go to longitude. If you turn this to west, maybe that'll work. Then click out of it. Maybe it'll just barely reach it. Nope. Too much. So let's see, longitude. Oh wait, no, I'm west two degrees, it's not enough. Delete. Um uh, let's see, west, let's try fifty-seven. Leave that all up us to see the sun. Yep. So if you go onto the sun, it and we'll say it up here in a bunch of details and stuff. So basically center on that. Now the sun when you look at it. Here, wait, maybe it'll help if I take off the at atmosphere. Okay, there it is. So as you can see right now in this area, Jupiter and Mercury are out. I'm not sure where I am. I'll go check Jupiter and Mercury. So, ah! ah! Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Oh, cool. So right now, apparently, there's some sun spots on the sun. If I unclick on it. So you can see it is slowly moving. Um, here. There's Jupiter. So I'll just finish up showing you guys these planets and then I will sign out. Okay, I'm trying to zoom in on it. Ah! Ah, too much, too much, too much. If, if you zoom in it when the atmosphere is still out, it kind of looks really bright. Okay, no great red spot right now. Yeah, uh, and I haven't found a way to search it, so you may just have to wait till it comes out, which stinks. But there's a better one, but it costs like $70 or something, so that's not worth it. Zoom in on Mercury. There's Mercury. Okay, is there anything else, any other planets? Because I, I, I'd say planets are probably one of the coolest things. You already saw Mars. Let's see. There's Saturn. Um, no, I think that's pretty much it. So I will sign off at Sirius. Okay. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. 
So that's serious. It's giving off a big glow. Well, guys, um, that's pretty much it on this. I hope you guys thought that was cool. And as you can see, when you press that power button there, it brings you out. Or you can click control click. But anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for checking this out. I hope you um, found this app useful um, and use it. So works on Windows too. Um, I just not sure how to get it working on Windows. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.